Hello, dear friends. I <laughs> um, hope you are doing dandy this uh, this morning, evening, whenever you're listening to this. Uh, we're just a couple of weeks away from the new year, which is absolutely wild. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, what are we talking about today? Um, well, uh, we got a little recommendation after going on Instagram Live really quick from Cam. Cam, last name, oh man. I'm going to butcher it probably as Schroeder. Something like that. Something like, yeah, just got to say it really, really yeah. quickly. Like Schroeder? Sure. <laughs> Schroeder? Yeah, so Cam uh, had a very good question. Um, a ton of uh, little good submissions going on, but this one definitely won it out. And that's basically, um, shoot, I'm kind of blanking. It was something about, oh, how can you up your coffee game in 2022? Um, borderline like an end of the year episode, but we're probably going to have a couple of those. Yeah. But for this one, how can you up your coffee game in 2022? So things included like literature, what should you be reading? Um, who should you be following on social media accounts? Um specifically even like probably YouTube because there's so much more long uh, form uh, content. Um, Then uh, what else? Uh, Brewers, just I think in general, like brewing stuff, kind of everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be a fun one to cover because a lot happened in 2021. Yep. Sweet. Let's pour some coffee. Sweet, sweet. We got a little uh, special gem here. Um Oh, be careful with this one. Wonderful. I forgot my uh, fellow taster mug cup. So uh, I'm using a cupping bowl. And shout out to Edwin, who was the originator of this on our podcast. Uh, That was our first in-person guest, which was a spectacular episode. Probably by far my favorite podcast episode to date. Uh, This is episode 42, I believe. Uh, But yeah, go back and watch the Edwin Martinez Onyx Coffee um, Mm. uh, episode. Uh, It's a really great episode, just a solid episode. But uh, anyways, this is a coffee brought to you by Onyx. Yeah, that's right. It's our micro lot that has yet to be uh, released um, on our website. So hopefully it'll get there pretty soon. Yes, folks, it's uh, it's unreleased. Uh, we are working on it, and uh, should be should be out soon. It's gonna be awesome to be able to launch this guy, um, right before the new year, I think, yeah. with a couple new other fun coffees that we have prepared, and some more other things, which is gonna be just exciting. But um, yeah, this is dandy. Man, I might be completely crazy on this. Um, are you picking up some spice, some like bacon spice, maybe cinnamon? Or am I too wild on that? You're not far. Mm. It's super tasty. Um, I didn't know what to think about this micro lot when we got it. Uh, oh, I didn't, my hopes weren't like, like you, high, but this is oh, a fantastic Guatemalan coffee. Mm. I'm glad it's a little cooled. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of. First of all, folks, we haven't even decided what's going to go in the bag, so you'll find yeah. out. Uh, but just raw thoughts. Um, getting some like that orange, like mm-hmm. marmalade, almost like I don't know, man. Mm. Spice. Like as soon as when I was like tasting it first, I was like, man, there's something there. I can't put my finger. And then you said spice, and yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. We're getting that's what, closer. That's what I was thinking um, before, and I couldn't really pinpoint it. And as soon as I Took a sip of it. It almost reminded me of like, um, like cinnamon, kind of, but not super strong. I also think the florals in this are just yeah. so prevalent. Um, there's something really interesting on the back end as well. Yeah. Just like a nice finish. <laughs> um, yeah, just a solid coffee. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. It's definitely exceeding my expectations. Like we cupped this as a sample roast. Mm-hmm. We snagged it. Um. And so I had a set of expectations, not yeah. that it was bad, um, but that's just goes to show of how far this exceeded yeah. the expectations. Um, yeah. Um, it's also the first time we've ever bought out a micro lot. Like we bought all of it. Mm. Um, oh, 
So with that said, Mark, am I, am I, yeah, honey, Sheesh. dude, oh, okay. wildflower honey, that was it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm wrong on, uh, right or wrong on this, so correct me, um, but is it true that we're the only ones who carry this coffee? Pretty this much. Lot? Pretty much, yeah. It was, uh, it was part of the one-of-a-kind Guatemalan uh, mm -hmm. auction coffees, um, and so uh, Onyx was able to... Uh, to buy a couple of those on from that one of a kind auction. This was, I believe, number ten, mm -hmm. I think, on this one of a kind offering. Um, so it was very exclusive. It's not quite like C C O E auctions, but it's yeah. very similar. Like they're showcasing like really spectacular coffees. There's a couple others on that list actually that I'd be interested of actually going back and getting. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they said, hey, like we would actually prefer you to buy the entire lot, which. The lot was small already. Yeah. I'm like, hey, if there was more, yeah, I would have bought even more. So yeah, this is like the entire lot. Like this doesn't exist literally anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very low key, you know, small quantity. So it's yeah. gonna be a fun one. Fun one. Well, um, yeah, yeah, I don't. I mean, yeah, super it's, pumped on this coffee. It's yeah. been fun. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you guys will hear it first here on the podcast probably. Um, to our podcast listeners about the new coffee and when it drops. Mm -hmm. um, we'll give you guys some dates and yeah, it should, it should be exciting. And then there's a couple of other coffees yeah. that are dropping, but this is a banger. I, yeah. I like it. And this getting this actually on batch is actually pretty exciting. Yeah. Like, I don't know what we changed, we changed Dude, up to the recipe again and it's actually tasty. It yeah. tastes pretty dialed actually. It does. Yeah. It's very balanced. There's not like, insane sharpness and in acidity um clean bag end like very very good mouthfeel yeah mouthfeel nice excellent. body Sheesh. like yeah great it's great yeah. overall uh speaking of that yeah. 2022 Tasty. what coffees should folks be drinking apart from mirror every other week <laughs> <laughs> what are they uh, filling in mirrors micro lot yeah <laughs> uh, man that's a good quick it's a good question uh I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, I do know just there's too many options. Um, I'm going to be a hater. I'm going to do this. See, probably not an anaerobic coffee. Are you sure? Probably not a natural. Oh, man. Outside of mirror. Outside you, of you mirror. You never had uh, that uh, wash geisha I had, huh? I haven't. Yeah. Dang. Um, I'm so, going to go buy another bag. I accidentally drank the oh, Rastos. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, tasty. That's, that, those are the yeah. coffees that you know are good. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I I don't know. Uh, I think some people to kind of keep in mind. Um, Manhattan's always dropping something tasty, sure. but they they always have something wild. Um, I'm trying to pick up some coffee from Say soon. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going down to Seattle tomorrow, um, and I want to stop by a couple of multi roasters down there that have some pretty interesting offerings. Nice. But uh, yeah, I I I don't know. Um, Man, that's, I, I just, what makes it hard is that I think I don't want to say the most cliche, you know, answers and mm -hmm. give what everybody else is drinking. Yeah. But um, I would say is like, find like a really tasty, delicious uh, washed coffee. Um, yeah. Man. Yeah. I, don't I don't know. I'm, I I'm, also, I also like, I'm also like, I know the coffees that are going to be dropping for Mir in the next like, 14 days uh, mirrors and I'm like, a given ah, yeah drink like, mirrors coffee because it's tasty not because yeah. you're listening to the pod yeah but it's tasty yeah like so, we have some yeah. spectacular things coming up yeah but you already said the given that's uh manhattan it's been mm -hmm. i mean i guess i'm kind of biased with working for narrative mm -hmm. and they've been serving manhattan so i've been enjoying it they're really doing some very very awesome things when yeah. it comes to um coffee uh farming and processing and all that good stuff but outside of that um if you're going into 22 and you're not stoked on onyx coffee labs echelon then i don't know where you're at i, I think books. everybody's like either loves it or hates it but there's some That's kind of energy mm -hmm. around that concept so if you are listening to the podcast and you happen to be echelon Am I saying that right? Uh, echelon, know, whatever. If you're part of that exclusive subscription, please holler at us and at least tell us what you're tasting and yeah, how it's going. Yeah. Just want to hear 
the feedback. I know yeah. you probably won't share any coffee with us. We won't get mad, <laughs> but we just want to know. So, and if you don't know what we're talking about, go look up Onyx Coffee Lab. Do, they have do, this insane subscription. What I'm is it like? Pretty much assuming three that it's going to be tasty. Yeah, what is it, a three grand like a year, year subscription? Yeah, yeah it's bonkers. Um, so that is definitely on my radar for 2022, not only for the coffee, but for the business model around that subscription. The experience. Yeah, that's insane. Like what they're doing is like no one's ever came up with that wild of an idea. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other one, and this is just me because... I have not had any of their coffee, but they've been popping on radar. You and I have been talking about their design, a lot of the things that they're just like slamming out of the park that we're big fans of, and that's Nomad. So, right, Nomad? Yeah, that's yes. them. Yeah, insane. Like, I love their design. Yes. Even though their yes. new coffees and those little pill bottles kind of look we weird need get, and we need strange. We need to get Nomad on the podcast. But that's yeah, it. they're... Yeah. I don't know. Actually, I haven't had any of their should, coffees. I can't vouch for them coffee. tasting good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They look good. They look good. They also are sharing some of the coffees that we're dropping. Yeah. Which is pretty exciting. Pretty wild. But uh, we should also have them on the podcast, like coffee-wise, and we need to yes. have them on the podcast. Yeah. Actually, it would be awesome to have Patrick from April be on the podcast. Yeah. I think that would be a fun yeah. podcast, actually, to that have. He already, he already has a lot of great YouTube content out there. Yeah. For folks that which which brings us to the next there thing is like um in the world today i mean there's not enough coffee content out there already like there's just isn't uh for how complex the industry is yeah but it's definitely moving forward like i think 2020 and 2021 were big jumps in people jumping onto youtube and sharing their right. experiences um people like lance hendrick yeah uh people like uh who am I? Kyle. Thinking? A Kyle, yeah, Kyle Roselle. Um, then you have like, I mean, James Hoffman is the is the grandfather yeah. of the of YouTube. But uh, um, yeah. But then also like people like April Coffee who have yeah. been producing steadily great quality and um great mm -hmm. content just steadily about brewing, brewers, everything, even roasting. If you want to get in there, um. But uh, but yeah, like they're 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 pretty solid. Um, and then if you don't already follow Scott Rails <laughs> YouTube Let's go. channel, has like four videos <laughs> yeah. on there. But Classics. I know Scott yeah. is a quality over quantity. <laughs> what guy, so we'll sure. just we'll give him that. Yeah. So. <laughs> totally. Outside of YouTube, um, I would say those are the heavy hitters. Lance is just like cranking out contract uh, content and contracts, all the, and probably. contracts probably. <laughs> he is uh, their green coffee wholesaler, or uh, he's their I think sales guy. Yeah, sales yeah, guy. Sales so guy. contracts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's killing it. He's killing it all around. I'm um, like, go Lance. Lance, if you're listening to this, I highly doubt it. But if you are, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes there it is. if you're just listening and not watching mark just gave lance a uh, little uh it's not a heart emoji it's because you're using your hands but the same same anyway yeah. um outside of youtube if you're on instagram uh again um scott just cranks out some awesome uh brewing really and like all other tips that you should be following um but then jonathan gagney for sure we've said that so many times Sag his uh, book yeah. So, oh, book. yeah, his book. That's right. His if book. you haven't read his book, that was a highlight of 2021, yeah. and you should start 2022 with his book. And the good sure. thing is about getting a book is that it's hard copy. It's with you wherever you go, wherever yeah. you are. I'd say have it next to your, your brew bar and literally take a concept, read about it, and experiment with it. Yeah. Read about it, experiment with it. Yeah. Grab your kettle. Maybe he's talking about kettle and your, you know, stream, your, yeah. your stream. Give it, give it a test, like right there, you know, like... Yeah. There's something special to having a book. Maybe I'm just old school, but... Um, no, I'm yeah, using pick, it like an encyclopedia. Pick up Jonathan Gagne's book. Yeah. That's right. What is it called? Uh, it's The Physics of Filter Coffee. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, there there was another... Uh, who to follow? Uh, what's that new account that I just shared? They basically have like facts about coffee, and they had that last one about sweetness. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Um, just shared it. Gosh, let me look it up really quick. That that's a big one. It's basically just uh, information and like facts about coffee, because mm -hmm. um, we can't get enough of facts. You know, what I mean, we need more facts, folks. We need to stay objective in our coffee knowledge, um, and that is um, Sam Awesome Work. Okay, it's Samo S M R K E. 
S-A-M-O-S-M-R-K-E. That's a complicated one. Um, but uh, basically, it's a coffee scientist, and they're just basically sharing a lot of mm-hmm. awesome facts. I mean, like the one about coffee sweetness yeah. uh, almost like just blew me away because that's kind of what I've heard, but yeah. I haven't had any confirmation on that fact. Scientific. And it turns out uh, scientifically correct. Yeah. Um, so that that's one. Um, again, that's Samo Smirk. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a hard one, but S A M O S M R K E for that Instagram. Yeah. So follow that one. It's still growing. It's kind of new, but it's already trending. Yeah. That's great. Um, yeah, I think, I think all those resources are really, Mm -hmm. really going to be helpful and beneficial. Um, you know, but I, in general, I'd say like, if you have the solid, um, this is something I've heard about from James Hoffman recently that, um, I heard it again recently and I was like, okay, that's good. Mm-hmm. If you have a V60, a pour over, if you have a solid grinder, if you have your scales, like that doesn't, you don't need to be chasing the newest, baddest gear. Yeah, like totally. it just, in my opinion, it's unnecessary and there's not anything absolutely extraordinary that mm-hmm. is going to get you ages away just because you bought a new brewer, yeah. you know, not that you shouldn't, or that it's mm-hmm. bad, but just simply, uh, I, I want to say is like, hey, if you have a V60, a great kettle, um, a great grinder, that's going to mm-hmm. be important, and you have a scale, and of course, good water. Good water yeah, good is actually water. a huge Underestimated, thing. Yeah. yeah. But if you have those basics, trust me, you could do a lot of good damage on it in yeah. your morning brew. So if you're like trying to up your morning coffee game in 2022 yeah focus more on maybe dialing in some of that information from those resources that we yep. mentioned rather than thinking man i can't brew a great cup because right. i have a kalita and not a v60 right there are people out there that i know of that are crushing it on the most basic kalita yeah or totally. the most basic v60 and they're getting spectacular results yeah. you know so don't feel the need that you don't have enough to up your game and that yeah. you need to spend more money. Yeah. Even though fun co- new coffee gear is always fun. Yeah, totally. So, yeah. Take and that. with new coffee gear, I mean, I just got the Tricolite. And honestly, if you're looking for a new brewer for 2022, I would say that's the up and coming one. Um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of things uh, being posted about it. Um, it's still to a degree, um, people haven't figured it out yet. So generally, it's still new, um, but I've really enjoyed the brews I've gotten out of it. Um, it's kind of weird to be extracting coffee at like six to eight minutes and have it taste tasty mm-hmm. and not astringent, um, but it really produces a different cup. So I'm still getting used to like when and where do I add agitation and yeah. all the good things just to get um, that t- even tastier of a cup. So far, I'm pretty satisfied literally carry it in my backpack over there with my can grinder um so yeah so i recommend that one it's also made out of plastic which we know that's good on many many levels yeah Um, traveling or even the Mm -hmm. fact that heat retention you know what i mean so that's a good one which that being said i mean recently you had a little air press enlightenment yeah you had Um, a little epiphany a little experimental something. I did. I'm not going to share a lot because I'm actually, uh, no joke, I'm actually highly considering competing next year in the AeroPress uh, uh, US Championship um, just because I'm like super confident on this recipe and I've been able to replicate it and um, it's been super tasty. But um, how much? Uh, I would say it's an inverted and regular method. I combined the two methods in one brew. Um, I'd still need to kind of like iron out the kinks in it because it can get pretty messy if it's not done right. Mm. Um, but I'm super stoked on it. Again, it's like an extended brew. It's like what, four minute brew, um, but no astringency and amazing mouthfeel. Yeah. Pretty um, excellent. Yeah. What's so, the ratio for that? Uh, it was one to 16. One to 16. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Pretty yeah. classic. Yeah. Um, I mean, depends on who you talk to. A lot of ratio, a lot of coffee, air press, um, yeah, one ten or like one to ten, one twelve, extremely yeah. heavy, which I think, in my opinion, doesn't make for like a really great mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. When I changed my AeroPress recipe from like a one to twelve, one to ten to one to sixteen, seventeen, mm-hmm. all of a sudden the mouthfeel changed a lot, and it mm-hmm. was 
a little bit more, in my opinion, pleasing. Yeah. Um, but that being said, like sometimes you have to, you know, crack open, you know, the same brewer and just get to know the brewer more. Yeah. Um, and really, if you want something really versatile and fun, the AeroPress. AeroPress yes. will keep you on your toes. It'll keep you frustrated as well yeah. because it's ridiculously hard to yeah. replicate it to the T. Yeah. Um, but stuff like that, like I think uh, 2022, um, if you're looking for something fun, that's an option. Totally. Um, what else? Um, so we got a little bit of literature out there for you. Um, any, dude, there was another new book. Oh, Coffee Collective released a new book about coffee. Have you seen anything about it? Coffee Collective. Yeah. Interesting. It just looked really, really cool. Um, I don't know what information is on there, but it just like looked like a very cool publication. Yeah. So I really like that. There was another book floating around. Um, it's kind of like a coffee table book about coffee spaces um so i love like architecture and stuff mm -hmm. like that so it was out um i kind of i saved it let me pull it up for y'all too i've really enjoyed just how it looks you know there's just some books that you want to grab like information out of and then other books are just like pieces of art like you tear every page and hang it up on your wall Dude. kind of thing um so that's been a good one what else are we gonna looking forward to 2022 you show we got brewers we got um uh accounts to follow anything else what are we missing yeah i mean honestly i'd even go back to like what we were saying talking about in the beginning is that a great way to up your brewing game is up the coffee that you're experiencing so yeah. in my opinion i would say is like hey if you're always drinking you know ethiopian coffees change it up go with you know go get a some kind of guatemala or go get, go get a Colombia or you know maybe an Indonesian or yeah. um you know Costa Rica or whatever there are just so many different origins out there mm -hmm. that produce great coffees and oftentimes I think what gets us stuck um is what makes coffee sometimes bland is that yeah. we just get used to the same same coffee that we keep drinking simply because it's just like our go-to our preference right. our yeah. you know stuff like that. And so I would highly recommend find some roasters, um, maybe even ex start exploring with mm -hmm. new roasters, but find coffees that are from just places that you don't usually would expect, uh, where you would normally wouldn't go and buy coffee from. Um, I think that's so awesome. And that'll, that'll make you better as a brewer as well. Um, for example, this Guatemala, even our micro lot, yeah. uh, I've been brewing, it brews very differently. And that has been both challenging, but also such a great experience to yeah. like dial in the brew. And you're like, man, I, I literally, I just mastered that. Like that was a fun experience. And now I get to enjoy this cup. Um, yeah. And sometimes learning about brewing different coffees and stuff like that, yeah. I think is, um, would help a lot. Yeah. yeah. And that's like with personal experience, um, especially if you're a hands-on learner, mm -hmm. um, I think having different coffees to experiment with is definitely going to be key. But with that, also make sure you're logging your information. Yeah. Like if 2022, if you want to improve in coffee brewing, yes. um, get a coffee log and mm -hmm. start jotting down information. Or, I mean, they actually have like coffee journals if you need some structure to it. Mm -hmm. I literally just use a moleskin and a pencil um, so I can make notes and adjustments and all that. I need to start doing yeah. that. Yeah, and like my goal has been, I actually wanted to do this for latte art as well, is I wanted to uh, document 100 pours in a row or um, write down just 100 pour overs. Like mm -hmm. every pour over, I want to make sure I log. And I've been getting in that habit more and more and what it's, it's created this intentionality that I haven't experienced before mm -hmm. where um, I'm getting in the routine of keeping my um, elements or uh, my different variables. I'm keeping them more structured. Like mm -hmm. my water, I always measure the parts per million in my mm -hmm. water and making sure it's within like five and then all the other elements, like whether it's the same brewer I use mm -hmm. for the same coffee or even using the same coffee with multiple brewers. Mm -hmm. But logging that information helps me keep track of patterns so then when yeah. i go back to rebrew that coffee i can see what adjustment i need to make yeah and that's something that we're also i mean not talking about brewing but roasting mm. like that's yeah. huge like some of the patterns that now it's like um it's interesting because we roasted another coffee for the first time today as yeah. well and um from our experience two years ago to today 
is significantly different. Yeah, totally. And it's, it's we've gotten better, but also um, we've learned a lot of things that kind of allow us to be in the ballpark of yeah. like roasting a coffee from scratch. We've never roasted before. Throw it in the roaster, and you're like, oh, this may not be far off. Yeah, like totally. you might you cup it, and then all right, this needs to be tweaked, yeah. and we know how to do that. And a lot of that has to do with just noticing trends, noticing these things. Um, and we're about to create like a really dynamic, in-depth log right. about all of our coffees. Um, mm-hmm. And that's huge because, I mean, figuring out patterns will just help you more yeah. know what to do. And yeah. eliminate mistakes that yeah. you don't need to make over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Sweet. Um, well... That's, that's pretty good. And I think last question as we wrap up this episode, mm-hmm. um, what other podcasts should folks listen oh, that's to good. in 2022? Yeah, that's good. Um, to be honest, uh, I wish there were more coffee podcasts. Um, and I get, also get why it's hard to have a coffee podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Being 42 episodes deep, I'm like, okay, this is actually challenging. Um, but uh, I don't know. Keys to the shop. Always. I don't listen. I don't listen to it enough. Yeah, um, it's more DeFerio businessy a kind of. Um, Map it forward is great. Yeah, I think there's totally. some really good information there. Um, um, new one that I wanted to throw out there. I don't know if you've listened to it yet. It's a very short one. I think uh, they do like uh, under 15 minute episodes. Um, it's a quick like coffee news podcast called. Coffee News Break with Bubba. Um, it's Coffee News Break just on Instagram. Nice. It's great. It's like short to the point. Um, has good tempo. Um, I like it. It's basically like Love if it. you listen to like any kind of news, like like uh, I'm thinking of like NPR Up First. Yeah. It's a very short like news informational like, yeah. podcast. Yeah, yeah. It's similar to that, but it's about coffee. Dope. And they, I mean, one episode they talked about Deadstock and signing their new contract with Adidas and the sneakers. Um, so it's like a good variety of information. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not going to get into the nitty gritty of like how to brew a V60, yeah. um, but it kind of gives you like what's happening in mm-hmm. the coffee world. Highly recommend that. Like you said, definitely um, Map It Forward has been a podcast I've listened to for years. Um, and again, Cat and Cloud. I mean, come on yeah, now. Like, Cat, Cat that's a fun conversation. Really great, yeah, Really great podcast. I, honestly, I probably just listened to them because like, I would love to be friends with like Chris and Jared. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't care what they're talking about. I just want to be vibing. Yeah, like, come on. Excellent. It's going to be yeah, a fly in the sick. wall during your podcast yeah. session. So. Yeah. With that said, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you're this year. This is your first time listening to the Mirror Coffee Roaster Warm Up Sessions podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, subscribe on your listening platform. Uh, follow us on YouTube. That's a big one. Um, we'll definitely hoping that 2022 is going to allow us to crank out more content, mm-hmm. um, but also like short form storytelling content yeah. that we're super stoked on. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, we'll throw in an occasional, you know, you know, product review that we're hyped on or yes, yes. maybe like a new tutorial of a, some yes. brewing method. We got to, you know, talk about the trickle I've enjoyed it so much. There's a lot that's in the There's pipes. a lot that we want to talk about, but sharing amazing stories is like our bread and butter. Yes. Yes. So stay tuned, That's folks. Um, all the subscribe buttons, all the likes. Um, go ahead and leave 20 comments. Um, do it all. <laughs> yes. So. Also, for the couple of you that have left reviews on a podcast, yes. I don't know who you are, but I appreciate you. And I hope you're listening this far to know that we appreciate it. But also stay tuned for also, uh, we're going to go eagle watching. So that'll be a fun oh, vlog. So. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of good yeah. reasons to yeah. subscribe, follow, and all that yeah. jazz. So thank you once again. And uh, can I live a little quick teaser? Quick. Quick teaser. Uh, quick. Merch coming up. Coffee, podcast, merch coming up, and other good stuff. Sheesh. See you later, folks. Have a good one.